Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about potatoes. So to plant potatoes we can look in our calendar and under potatoes we see that they can be planted in March or April and then harvested in August or September. So we are in March right now. If you go under tools they have their own section, potato technology, and these first two are your potato planters and you can see the icons down here. Uh, and notice that they don't plant anything else except for potatoes and this symbol here is just the seed symbol because you can fill this with uh, seeds like normal or after the harvest you can refill it with the potatoes you harvested and we will look at that later in the video. So to start just go into objects and get seeds from your pallets and you refill it just like any other sower. So I have my controls up and you can see refill planter if I hit R and you'll see in the bottom right that it is filling up with potatoes. So now I have 2000 in the uh, machine. So I have a field up here that I'll skip to. Okay, so this field has already been cultivated so it is ready for planting and you lower. I've already unfolded the uh, planter as we see. And we just sort of go over it and you can see it being planted. So I'll go ahead and plant some potatoes and then we will skip ahead to uh, harvest season. Alright, so we have skipped forward to August and if we check our growth here, you'll see I only did just kind of a small strip. It says remove foliage. Foliage? Remove foliage. So. Um, for potatoes, you have to go over them with this tool first if you use one of these harvesters. And you'll put this on the front of your tractor, these on the back, and you can harvest. If you don't use this, then it won't pull the potatoes up. Or you can go into potato technology and vehicles and just use the this machine, and that'll do all of it for you. And we'll look at both of those. So here I have the... Uh, top remover on the front, I will lower it, and then at the same time I will go to the back and unfold this harvester. And we'll see if I drive over it that the tops disappear. And if I do a little more and get out of the way, we should see, yep, you can see that little bit is now ready to harvest. And so we can just drive over it. I will turn on the harvester and lower it in the back. And we'll start to drive over it. Um, this machine is not ideal yet. I mean, it's it's a little to the right, which is kind of annoying. So I don't like using this one. Uh, it may be better to go over the whole field first, then use this machine. I don't know. I try not to use this one, but you'll see um, it's collecting the potatoes. And we'll shut it off. And then if I wanted to do something with the potatoes, I can hit O to pipe out. And then I, of course I can go over to my tipper and just like all other crops, you can unload your potatoes into your tipper. And now that we have done that, let me decouple and let's look at the actual uh, vehicle harvester. So again, this just does everything. So we'll unfold it. And then, after that amount of time, we can lower the header and just drive. And we'll start to see that they are coming up the conveyor belts, and then they'll come up here, and they'll start to store in the harvester here. And then when we're ready, we can pipe out. Um, I'm going to hire a worker. So then there's a couple things we can do. We can get our tipper, or trailer, whatever you want to call it, and we can drive alongside the harvester and collect it as the worker works. Or if we wanted to refill our sower first so that we can use this harvest to plant for next season, then you basically treat this just like a trailer. And you uh, can pipe out and bring the harvester to it or what I will show is just having the worker work and then I will go to it 
the pipe should come down automatically and this works with all uh, harvesters on any crop and remember I do have the sower the planter attached so then it'll uh, refill the planter so then I am ready to plant for next season and I won't have to buy seeds I'll just use the potatoes so now um, we have kind of seen what to do harvest wise let me jump into this vehicle and we will look at what to do so with potatoes there's no production chain that I found so the things you can do with them are sell them so if we go to prices potatoes all you have to do is just go to these and unload them in the uh, unload icon it, it looks like a trailer like unloading and just sell them like you would anything else um, otherwise you can save them or feed your pigs so to feed your pigs I'll jump over there now okay so we're at our pigs there's that unload icon I was talking about if you go sell um, and if we go to pigs we'll see that they sh they shouldn't have any food and their root crops is 5% effective and it's potatoes or sugar beets and once you put them in there and I'm just gonna do a little bit because I want to show one other thing after this that it'll fill up that root crop categories and then if I came and put sugar beets in here it would okay that probably didn't do enough but this would fill up um, and it just basically converts potatoes and sugar beets to that root crop the other nice thing um, that you can do with it if you are not ready to feed your animals but you want to keep them is you can find your nearest train uh, grain pool silo and so on this map this is Elm Creek there's one here and then there's one way over here grain west east and grain west or grain west silo and grain pool east and uh, regardless of the map you play on you should be able to find ones and if you drive there those unlike the ones on your farm those will actually be able to store potatoes and sugar beets so here I am in that uh, that symbol that grain pool east and if I go over it it'll say in the top left start overloading sometimes you'll actually get like a big message in the center and you can hit I and it'll fill up your silo and then you can just store it so then if I wanted to come later I can hit start filling you can do this with all, all your crops uh, and potatoes and then it'll just refill all your potatoes and then you can go do whatever you want with it so that should be about everything with potatoes i hope that helps and i hope you learned something please leave a like subscribe or comment below if you wish and if you ha have a question and of course have yourselves a very nice day